Hey, what's up everybody? My name's Tobias and welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. What I have for you guys today is a microphone review on the Toner TC20. Oh, let me turn it around this way. I got this microphone for free from Toner, but this is not a sponsored video. If you guys are familiar with my channel, I've reviewed several microphones from Toner and they're one of the few brands that I've, for the most part, had a really good experience with. It is an XLR condenser microphone. I still have it in the box right here. If you look over here, this is a different microphone. I'm just gonna put that off to the side. But this arm stand right here, I am pretty sure that this arm stand is going to be the same arm stand that is included inside this box because in the email that Toner sent me, it says that this mic will have the upgraded arm stand. And the upgraded arm stand, which is this one right here, is a lot more durable and more sturdy than the arm stand that came in their earlier microphone bundle kits. So I think that's really cool that they're including that in this kit right here. And I'm just looking back at the email that they sent me. They also said that they're going to give me a 15% off discount code to use if you're buying this microphone. So I'm gonna go ahead and hopefully I'll get that discount code by the time I upload this video. So make sure you check down in the description because if you are going to buy this microphone, be sure to use that code because you will get 15% off and that code will only be good for one month, I believe. But I'll leave it down there in the description. Just make sure you try that out because it'll save you some money. And let's go ahead and get into this guys as usual i will be doing a quick unboxing followed by a demonstration followed by a review and really quick before i open this box up i want to show you guys the amazon page i have it up here on my computer all right guys so this is the amazon page right here if you look over here to the right it goes for 59 dollars 99 comes with free returns that's actually really cool and free delivery and then over here let's just go ahead and look at what this comes with it looks like it comes with the actual microphone itself of course the XLR cable, that's cool that it comes with that. The arm stand, some Velcros for managing your cable. And I'll just go ahead and have the link to this Amazon page down in the description of this video in case any of you guys wanna check it out for yourself. And if you guys like this video or if this video helps any of you guys out, I would really appreciate it if you went down there and gave this video a like. That would help me out so much. I would really appreciate that. And if you wanna see more videos by me in the future, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and hit that bell notifications button. And let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, so this is everything that came inside the box. If we start on the left right here, we have a two year warranty card. That's pretty cool. We have the instruction manual. This is the arm stand. It has a warning right there saying that it is spring loaded. So when you're opening it, you're prepared so it doesn't like pop open. Right here we have the base for the arm stand. Right here we have those Velcros I was talking about. It looks like it comes with four of them. That's actually really cool. Right here is the pop filter and it is a double screen pop filter. A screen on the front and a screen on the back. Right here is the actual microphone itself. And I got to say guys this microphone has a decent amount of weight to it then right here we have this wind muff clown nose type thing to go over the microphone the xlr cable right here and then we have the shock mount which works by squeezing these two things right here and it kind of opens like a clamp you slide the microphone in there and it grabs the microphone so I just want to show you guys the difference really quick between this arm stand and the arm stand that the toner mic kits used to come with So check it out guys, I put the new arm stand out on my bed and I put the old arm stand that the mics used to come with. This is like from the uh, BM700 mic kit, also by Toner. So like Toner used to include these in their older mic kits. And just check out how much beefier the new arm stand is compared to the old one. Like the old one just had those two rails. This one, the new one now has three rails. And then check out the base. This is the old clamp that would like clamp onto your desk. And this is the new one right here. So like, just check out the size difference. It's way beefier, you know? All right guys, let's go ahead and set up the TC20 and get into the demonstration portion of this video. All 
All right guys, so I got the microphone set up on the stand and everything. As you guys probably saw, I had a little difficulty finding a good place to attach the pop filter, but I found that right here at that angle is a great place to attach it. So that's what I would recommend. And then just have it go right up in front of the mic like that. The side of the microphone with the toner logo, that is the front of the microphone. So I have the logo, you can't see it because the shock mount is blocking it, but the logo is right there in front. And then I have the XLR cable going right into my Focusrite 2i2 interface. And it does require phantom power, so you need to have an interface with phantom power. So I went ahead and turned my phantom power on already, right here where it says 48 volt. I just turned that on. If you guys are interested, I'll have the link to that interface linked down in the description of this video as well. So I removed the other arm stand that I had right there because this one, it was kind of getting in the way of setting this one up. But I just wanted to mention really quick, it turns out that this one is angled slightly differently than the arm stand that I had right there, but they are pretty much almost exactly the same. They're just angled differently. One thing that I just wanted to mention really quick is that the XLR cable, it was a little hard to plug the XLR cable into my interface. I think it's just kind of a cheaper XLR cable. So if you have another one, you know, I might recommend using a different cable, but I mean, it's probably going to work fine. And also I didn't use any of the Velcros because the cable was a little short to have running along the microphone and then going over there to the interface. If I set up the mic on the other side of the desk, I probably would have done that, but just want to let you guys know why I didn't do that. So I'm going to be recording my audio into Logic Pro X. And if you happen to have headphones nearby, I would recommend putting those on right now just so you could hear the audio clearly. So if you guys want to buy the arm stand just by itself, you can do that. And I actually did a review on just the arm stand by itself. I believe it goes for $30. So I'll have a link to that review video down in the description of this video as well in case you want to check that out. But yeah, let's go ahead and test out this microphone. All right, guys. So on the count of three, I'm going to switch over from using the microphone on my camera to this microphone right here. I'm going to be wearing headphones and monitoring the audio from this microphone so I can hear exactly how it sounds. So here we go. One, two, three. Hey, all right, guys. So now you're hearing the audio from this microphone right here, the Toner TC20. And it sounds very clear. I'm going to turn my volume up in my headphones a little bit. It sounds, it sounds good. I can actually hear my air conditioner in the background. It sounds pretty good, guys. Very low, very low noise floor. It sounds, you know, I'm hearing the warmth of my voice. You know, we're getting those lower frequencies or low mid frequencies, I guess I should say. And it was funny, I was looking at the user manual and it actually shows the same interface that I have. It's a funny coincidence, although it is a very popular interface. But once again, guys, this does require phantom power. So make sure if you are going to get this microphone that you either have an interface that supplies phantom power or you are planning to get one. Yeah, $59.99. This is a really good deal in my opinion because the way I see it, is like if you want to buy this arm stand just by itself that's already like 30 bucks and then just for 20 dollars more you're getting the microphone with it as well i think that's a really good deal um just to let you guys know i'm not doing any like audio processing i'm not using any sort of eq or compression or anything the only thing i'm doing is like i might adjust the volume level just so it's loud enough and i have the input gain set to a comfortable level. I'm curious to know, I, I'm curious to see what it sounds like if I turn my air conditioner off because I do hear that in the background. I'm just gonna turn that off for a second. I love having it on the, like you could just turn it off on your phone. I love that. All right, and just like that, we have way less background noise because I turned that off. Really great. I'm very impressed by this, guys, for $60. So I'm just gonna move around the microphone, see how it picks up my audio. So I'm right in front of it right now. I'm gonna move to the right and then to the left. Check, 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 microphone check, microphone check. Test, 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 microphone check, microphone check. I'm gonna move backwards, check, 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 test, microphone check, microphone check. I'm about a foot and a half away from the microphone. Check, check, microphone test. I'm gonna go a little further back. I'm roughly three feet away from the microphone. I'm still hearing my voice, check, check. Gonna move back. I'm gonna talk over the microphone. Check, check, hello, hello, one, two, three, one, two, three. I'm gonna talk under the microphone. Check, check, one, two, three, one, two, three. Back right in front, one, two, three, one, two, three. And right now I'm right on the microphone about, probably about, 
two or three inches away. Check. Microphone check. One, two, three. One, two, three. And all right, guys, I think we've heard enough. Let's go ahead and move on to my review portion of this video. All right, guys, so now the audio that you are hearing is coming from the microphone on top of my camera. And now we're moving on to the review portion of this video. And I just got to say, guys, you guys could probably tell that I am very happy with this microphone. For those of you who watch my videos or are pretty familiar with my microphone review videos, you're probably pretty tired of me saying this, but I always say it when I review a good XLR microphone for that is inexpensive. I really love these low cost XLR microphones because I feel like it gets beginners into the XLR microphone game really early on. Because typically I feel like a lot of people go into like USB condenser microphones because they're inexpensive, you know, you don't need an interface or anything. Whereas with an XLR microphone, you do have to invest in an interface. But when you're buying a low cost XLR microphone bundle like this one right here, it really helps bring that overall price down. And I say this all the time, but I do think it is a better investment in the future if you do get into XLR microphones off the jump. And there's nothing wrong with USB microphones. I used the Blue Yeti USB microphone exclusively for years, but you definitely have a lot more options when you get into XLR microphones. As for how the microphone sounds, I love how it sounds. I think it did a great job picking up my voice. There was hardly any noise floor. But anyways, guys, you guys heard the same exact audio that I heard. I'd love to hear what you guys thought about it. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. And once again, guys, I will have a link to the Toner TC20 down in the description of this video in case anybody wants to check it out. And if you like this video or if this video helped you out, I would really appreciate it if you went down there and gave this video a like. That would help me out so much. And if you would like to see more videos by me in the future, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and also hit that bell notifications button. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Peace.